What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today I've got a question for you. Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today I'm going to be asking a very simple question to you guys. What color is the bowler in Clash of Clans? We were on stream last night and this question came up and I generally thought like the bowler's blue, right? And then we started looking. I was like, wait, that bowler's kind of purple looking. And then I went and I ran a poll on the community tab. I even ran a poll on Twitter and the results were pretty similar. A lot of you guys think the bowler is purple and I can kind of see where you guys are coming from. The bowler looks really, really purple uh, opposed to blue, which is what we all generally think. So while I give you guys a few minutes to think whether the bowler is blue or purple, let me know your comments down below what you think it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to show off some attacks that use bowlers at Town Hall 10, 11, and 12. These are going to be really useful armies that are going to be really easy for you guys to use. And what we're going to be starting with is we're going to use a Go Hobo. This is going to use a golem, sometimes two golems, bowlers, and then some hog riders to come in and clean up the base. Now, I like to use the bowlers in the clan castle. If you can get a log launcher, it's incredible. But if not, a wall wrecker would be amazing. And if you can't get a wall wrecker or a log launcher, just use some wall breakers to get into the base and take out the five goal or the five bowlers and add in a second golem to tank. Now, have you guys thought about your answer? What you think the bowler is? Is it blue? Is it purple? Hopefully you guys have commented. While you're at it, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe and turn on all those notifications. Let's see if we can get to 2,500 likes today. Are you guys ready? There's a real answer. You ready for it? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The bowler is blue. Right there in his description, this big blue dude. Big blue dude. Sorry, guys. I mean, he does look purple. I'll give you that. But the bowler is blue. Uh, so there we go. That's the definitive answer. But while you're here, let's stick around for a little bit. And we'll show you guys some attacks. So we'll start off with the Go Hobo at Town Hall 10. We'll move up to 11. And then we'll go to Town Hall 12 and show off some bowler attacks. All right, guys. So when you're using this attack, you need to keep, do a few things. You need to get out the enemy clan castle if there's anything in here. This is a farming attack. So there might not be anything in there. And you need to get out the queen with your kill squad. These are going to be very, very important for your raid. So what we're going to do is whether you bring one golem or two, to, is you want to set the funnel here so we're going to use the golem with some of those wizards and then we're going to go ahead and go in with our log launcher and this is just going to be setting our pathing i'm going to go ahead and set the king in here with the queen and then we're going to run in the five bowlers in behind who our king is trailing behind but that's fine we'll be okay because we're going to go right in this base and get right at this enemy queen we're going to go ahead and we're going to rage right all through here all right, so we'll get this rage going there. King's finally coming back. The enemy queen pulled him in. But notice with the log launcher, we're also able to get out that multi-target inferno. We're going to pull a bunch of skeletons. Since nothing came out of the clan castle, we'll go ahead and use one of our poisons on there. Uh, but that's the nice thing is, is you can uh, use the two poisons, one on the clan castle and then one on skeletons. And then while all that stuff is still kind of working over there, I'm just going to go ahead and start sprinkling in my hogs. And really, you don't need to do this any specific way. Just kind of use them in a manner that is going to support the push through here. And we're bringing plenty of heal spells. And sometimes you might have to change your spells up a little bit. Uh, but we're bringing plenty of heals so we can go ahead and heal up our hogs, keep them nice and healed through. Try to save a few of your wizards. That way you'll have cleanup throughout the base. And just like that, you should get a three star on your hands. And one thing you can do if you're not able to get the clan castle or the log launcher or anything like that is you can bring a jump spell. I understand not every clan has higher level people donating siege machines to Town Hall 10s. You can bring a jump spell to get into the base. You can use wall breakers and a jump. Uh, and that attack is really strong, especially right now being able to get a log launcher or even a wall wrecker. It works really, really well. But you have to make sure you get out the enemy clan castle and the enemy queen with your kill squad, with your golem, your bowlers, your, and your heroes. Or else the clan castle and the queen will chase your hogs around, pick them off, and it's going to be a bad time. So that's going to be our Town Hall 10 attack. Go Hobo. And yes, this is originated from Town Hall 9. And so really you just modify this for town hall nine and you'll be good and you can use it at town hall 11 let's go ahead let's check out my town hall 11 army using bowlers so the next army that we're going to show off using bowlers is called five icg this might be my favorite army in the whole game of clash clans next to maybe electron oh i love me some electron but five icg is very simple it's a kind of spammy attack that uses five ice golems in the main army it's going to use 11 10 11 bowlers depending on your cleanup and then eight witches 
bases. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to send everything up the middle of the base and then clean up with bets. A uh, log launcher or a wall wrecker is very ne necessary for this one. If you cannot get a log launcher or a wall wrecker, I would not recommend running this army because you need those two things to punch through the base to get the army through. And basically we're just going to push everything right up the middle and try to overwhelm the base with the ice golems popping. They're going to freeze everything in their wake and then the witches and bowlers are just going to crush behind them. And you can run this at multis depending on the base layout. It's all about the value. Let me go find a base and show you guys exactly what I mean. Alright guys, so we're going to hit this base right here. And this army is really, really simple. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the five ice golems. One, two, three, four, five. Count with me. I can count well. And then we're going to use the witches. We're going to use the bowlers and just set up a nice little funnel. And then we're going to go ahead and get our log launcher working in here. We're going to get our king, queen, and our warden. And then we're going to throw that extra witch, that extra bowlers right up the middle here and then everything else should work its way in the funnel will develop naturally uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop the warden ability here if you have a, a wall wrecker you're going to want to make sure you protect that wall wrecker so it gets into the base with the log launcher i like to go a little bit earlier with the warden ability just to make sure we get the proper value out of that log launcher but notice this base is gutted already, guys. We took out the multi, we took out the eagle, and that's the beauty of having that log launcher. It just does so much work. And then when you're getting ready with the bats, you need to just be aware, where are my splash damage? Where's my splash damage? Did I leave a multi-target inferno up? And how many wizard towers are up? And that's really the main question. How many wizard towers and how many multis are up? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my bats over here. And we, I noticed that I have three wizard towers throughout this base. So... That's we got four freezes. We should be fine here. So once that goes down, we're gonna freeze there. All right, nice. And just watch your bat pathing, see where they're gonna go, and try to be on point with your freezes right there. Nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then with this last one, we can be a little bit early since we have two freezes. Uh, we can just make sure we get this last one down, and then we run in our cleanup at any storages and stuff. And it's just that simple, guys. It's that simple. Swag out the the poison. And that's five ICG. This army is really, really effective. If you have a multi on the base, try to get to the multi early uh, and try to run your uh, wall wrecker or your log launcher at the eagle. I always try to get the eagle down. Not necessarily at the eagle, but in a path that's going to allow your troops to get the eagle down. You need to get that eagle down along with as much splash as possible. And that's five ICG. Let's go check out an army at Town Hall 12. So at Town Hall 12, we're going to run what's called a P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Now, there's a lot of variations of this. This isn't necessarily a set, like this is the army you have to use. I've seen with three, I've seen with four, five P.E.K.K.A.s. It really just kind of depends on the base. Uh, and then we're going to run 10 boulders in here as well. The boulders are going to be behind the P.E.K.K.A.s, just throwing those boulders over and dealing mass amounts of damage. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start the attack with either a Warden or a Queen Walk, depending on how the base is looking we want to be able to control the warden or queen walk and get them into the base properly and then we're going to use a siege barracks on the opposite side of that warden or queen walk to set the other funnel and then the hogs will come out late now the clay castle on this one can be changed we can run a yeti bomb where you run two yetis with like some barbarians with a rage inside of a blimp to take down like a compartment with a lot of value like well, maybe with a, an inferno and the eagle or you can even run like a log launcher or wall wrecker in the clan castle there's a lot of variations of this but i'm just going to show you this nice little version right here and hopefully we can do well with it because i'm not going to lie this is an army i haven't used in a while it can be really strong and you can actually run this with bats as well but i figured since we just did bats we'll run a straight up pekka smash so let me go ahead and find us a base all right guys you know me i can't pass up this much loot this is way too much loot to pass up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit of a warden walk here uh the reason i'm going to do a warden walk is because it's a little bit easier to control so we're gonna go in oh, i'm trying to figure out where it will be the best way we're gonna go in with our warden over here uh just because this one's a little bit awkward the warden walk you can control a little bit and get him going the direction you want so i'm gonna let him walk out this side and basically we're just gonna let him set the funnel we're just looking for him to set some pathing for us and just help us out along the side now we do need to keep an eye on that warden pedestal as it might deal us some damage we might have to freeze it we'll see how it goes if he gets in range of it it is a little bit of a lower one if that's a maxed out warden pedestal you're definitely going to want to be careful of that. All right, so he's taking on a little bit of damage here. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze the Warden Pedestal here. Uh, he should get this cannon down, no problem. All right, he's healing back up. And then what I'm going to do is, while he's working over there, is I'm going to go ahead and start off my P.E.K.K.A. right here. 
out of the siege barracks and then we're just going to run everything else right up the middle here so we're going to go ahead and run that and then once we're ready we can start pulling him off to the side with our pekkas we could put in a few pekkas inside of his radius and that will pull him inside the base beautiful beautiful guys and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to throw a jump spell down here and then we're just going to get everything moving right through the middle here we're going to jump there i'm going to freeze right here we're going to try to save the warden ability for the town hall because remember there is a giga bomb that's going to pop on that town hall and then we'll just jump out of the town hall compartment right here so as everything's working through here you definitely want that giga bomb just to protect those bowlers as they're working through here now we brought a heal spell we're going to use the heal spell to help protect the hogs as they're working through here uh, but if the hogs are fine you can really use it to kind of protect everything in the core we would poison any clan castle troops that came out uh, you can also use the baby dragon to help with the funnel for the warden walk or just help speed up the funnel for the queen walk i brought like a pretty general army but this kind of gives you an idea of how the pekka smash is going to work and this is going to be three armies you can use that feature bowlers and a lot of these are interchangeable at different town hall levels these aren't just for the specific town hall i showed you guys you can adapt them to different town hall levels so use them and play with them a little bit and have fun these are really strong armies i didn't just throw these in a in a video like here here's here, some armies these are armies you can use in war and get three stars i know we did farm attacks here today but these are legit armies that you can get three stars in war with so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video with our blue bowlers and a little bit weird right when you start thinking about it it's, a, it's like the mandela effect you start thinking they're blue but maybe they're purple uh, but it says right there, they're blue. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, though. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And consider using Code Bash. I really appreciate that a lot. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. Wow, you watched that whole video? Here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And here's a playlist of similar videos.